I've got a lot of questions about augmented reality and what is it and how can I use it and what I decided to do is on my webpage teacherseeds.com I created a section called augmented reality and you can just click on augmented reality it'll bring up a page that looks like this what you will do is follow these three steps the first one says click here to download and install the AR media player I chose to use AR Media just because it's very simple to use, plus it's free and it works really well with Google SketchUp. But if you scroll down this page, right here are the different players and you just have to choose what type of computer that you have. Once you've downloaded and installed the player, if you go back to Teacher Seeds it says click here to print off the marker. You'll get a page that looks like this. That is your marker and you just need to print it off. If I go back here, the last step is you have to have a webcam installed. The reason that you need a webcam is once you click to start the player, you're going to select a model, and I'll explain that here in a minute, and then you point the webcam at the marker that you print off, and whatever model that you chose will pop up right there on the sheet of paper. So I'm going to go to Science. and let's just say we're looking at Mars so I'm going to click download the model and then I'm going to click save file click OK and I'm just going to save it on my desktop for right now so click save and it says the downloads complete so if I downsize this I've already downloaded the AR player so I'll just double click on my player and it'll say choose a file so click browse I'm gonna go to my desktop and if I scroll down I should see Mars so I'm gonna double click on Mars and then start now the only reason that this is popping up is I changed my settings because in order for you to see the augmented reality I had to make my screen smaller you normally will not see this sheet it this is stuff that I did if you leave it as a default settings you'll never see the screen so I'm gonna click apply and then if I point my camera at the target you can see there's Mars now you might be saying that's small well one thing you can do is if I press F2 and then make capital S I don't know if you can see up on the top it says scaling and it's changing the size so I'm just going to change it to let's say 300 percent and if I back up a little more do you see how much bigger it is now now rather than just show kids a picture of Mars in the textbook students tend to think this is a lot cooler and use it a lot more and will pay more attention to this now that's a little bit a better understanding of what augmented reality is and why it's cool to get in your classroom because students are more likely to look at something like this rather than just a textbook with a picture of Mars in it. Okay, I'm going to exit out of this. Now, I've kind of just started this uh, section of the website so all these models are not completely done like I'm not done with technology I'm not done with history and mathematics and I'm always going to be adding to this but this is what I have right now like you can see if you go to history there's all models of different United States landmarks and buildings and then there's also landmarks from foreign countries uh, I'll keep adding to this if you have any suggestions I uh, will do my best to try and get a model out there but if you go to the feedback section you can have an idea or question just uh, let me know what I can do otherwise uh, I hope this helps you understand a little bit more what augmented reality is and how easy it is to get into your classroom